Okay, Tim, let's build a grill block. Can you explain uh, how we're going to do that? How are we going to attach something to this lower grill area? It's just kind of plastic. There's nothing to stick any screws into or anything. So how are we going to attach a grill block? Well, this is uh, the same way I attached my last grill block. It worked out really nice. It's easy and it's pretty versatile. You just take two wooden blocks. These are one by fours. Nothing fancy, just something I had laying around. You drill a through hole in one and put your screw through it and you countersink it so the screw head goes below it. So this just spins. And then you put this other block behind your grill and then you screw this block to the other one and it cinches up and just pinches the grill. Now you have a piece of wood that you can mount whatever the heck you want to. So you're also using a one by just because that happens to fit through <laughs> yes. the slot. So a two by four would not really work for this application. No. The okay. other nice thing is you can you can use whatever thickness wood you want on the outside to space your grill block out. This happens to work out pretty nice in that when we mount the coroplast, it'll mount flush with the rest of the bumper. Okay, but uh, definitely don't use a two by four on the back because it's not going <laughs> to fit through the grill. No. Okay. Okay, so here we have the one side. You can see it's just screwed to a block back behind there. It kind of sandwiches together. Here's the driver's side, and it's just on there uh, nice and solid. It's not, not going anywhere. And then we can uh, mount the coroplast to that. Okay, so Tim's over there putting the screws back in the little bottom part where we had to reach our hand through to hold the back of the blocks. And over here, we've got black coroplast. And that's uh, a four foot width, which is good because we just use the tape measure to measure the front of the car. And it's about six inches tall by four feet wide for that grill. So we just measured out about six and a half inches to give us some room to play with. We got a straight edge and then we'll uh, cut this and pop it up there and whittle it down. Okay, there's our six inch by four feet piece. Okay, plenty More big than enough. Plenty big enough. So what's your idea for whittling this down? I mean, do you just like Start chopping tack it up or are we going to mark that? What do you think? It feels like it probably take a half inch off of it. And... So here we're just holding the coroplast in place and then uh, used a drill to pre-drill through the coroplast and into the wood and then put in there a uh, basically just big wood screw with the fender washer and we did that on the one side so we can hold up and check it on the other side now. So here we got Ben tracing out the where we think we should cut basically just ensuring that we got uh, enough meat but uh, just making a mark where we think we should cut. We'll make that cut we'll see how it fits and then if we need to trim off a little bit more trim off a little bit more. So kind of here's the basics of the grill block. You can see the two screws and fender washers and the direction of the uh, the tubes of the coroplast is curved. So this curves real nice and easy. Uh, this is just what we had handy. I'll, I'm going to replace those with stainless steel versions so they don't rust and then paint them black to match. And we're still wondering, you know, should I trim that back so it still has the uh, fog lights? Cut it back to like here or so? Or... Uh, figure out a way to stick that back better. Either way, we'll pull this off, trace it to uh, make a second one for the other car. Okay, uh, another thought that we had about these kind of ears sticking out, that they, they don't hug close to the, the body because uh, the screw is back here. We thought, you know, if there was some way to get something between the trim of the fog light and the bumper, we thought maybe if you could slip something skinny in there, the way you do sometimes with a pallet knife for removing trim or that sort of thing. And you know, zip ties are nice and thin. So what we did was we were able to figure out that in the corner, you could actually, let me pull this back, you could get a zip tie through here. And then there's a hole in the underbody panel that we could pull the back end of it through and needed to use a second one to uh, get the length to go all the way around. But basically, we should be able to zip tie the far corner of this right up into there, and that'll just hold this piece nice and snug against there. And we're going to try that on uh, both sides and see how it looks and hopefully get a nice smooth curve with uh, the coroplast filling in the entire lower radiator.
Okay, so I hope you can see what I did here. Uh, punched a hole in the corner of the coroplast with my handy dandy awl. Fed that through, and then that goes into the other zip tie, which is going back between the uh, fog light trim and the bumper. Feeds back through, and then it comes out through this hole in the belly pan, and then that zip tie is going to go around and complete the circuit. And what that'll do is this part will be hidden inside, so we'll trim off this extra. But I did shorten it up just to make it so that the uh, zip tie heads aren't out in the open or rubbing against the bumper or anything. It should just be tucked up back under here. So I'll zip that through, tighten it up, and uh, should have this coroplast cover right up in here where it's supposed to be. And, uh, Tim, why don't we uh, tighten down the other side, see how it looks. Okay, and that, and that curved real nice like that. Just snip off the extra and I, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so here, this is uh, just pipe insulation shoved inside. However, we used a thicker piece for the bottom, a thinner piece for the half. Other thing is it's only half a piece of insulation cut in half and then folded, so you get this nice radius on the outside. And in the middle, there's a couple of vertical supports, right here and here and matching on the other side. So we just cut slits in the back, push them on, and looks pretty good, I think.